back to my channel. Today we are doing 10 reasons not to live in Vegas. If you're interested to know my thoughts and opinions, stay around for this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we are going to get right into it. Come on. If you didn't know, is the heat. Right now, it is 113 degrees outside, and I work outside, so you know how bad that is. It is in the beginning of the summer, and it's already hell outside. So if it's 113 in June, can you imagine what it's going to be in August? So I do not recommend anybody coming to Vegas if you cannot handle brutal heat for the remainder of the summer. If you cannot deal with this, if it is too much, if it is too much for the body, if it breaks you down, I do not, under uncircumstances, recommend you move to Vegas because this heat is not for everybody. It's not. So that is my number one reason not to move to Vegas. To not move to Vegas is just this, construction and traffic. So if you don't know, Vegas has been under construction for a very long time and it's not ending anytime soon. They're right up the street on Tropicana, they're building a baseball stadium. In North Las Vegas, they're building a basketball stadium and so forth and so forth. In each neighborhood, they're building new buildings, new homes, new everything for everybody constantly for people to constantly move here. So new streets are being made, new housing is being built, new everything. So of course, of course, they cannot, the traffic will not go anywhere. So the more people that move here, the more buildings that they create, the more streets that they make, the more, <laughs> there's more and more and more, the more, the traffic is gonna be like this. So if you decide to move to Vegas, if you decide to move to Vegas, this is a number two problem that I say that Vegas has. Constant traffic, constant construction on every major street. This street that I'm standing on right now is Flamingo, a major street in Vegas. Tropicana has traffic. The 15 freeway is a major freeway here, constantly have traffic. The 95 have traffic, construction, which means people keep moving here, which means we have many drivers on the road all the time. Good drivers, bad drivers. And if it's weather, different weather, other than sunshine and sun, maybe rain and sleet and snow that happens to hit the ground, you can guarantee there's gonna be accidents, which backs up traffic, and something you're gonna be sitting in for a very, very long time. So put that in your daily, you know, trying to get back and forth to housing or work or home from work or school or whatever it is that you're trying to do. Add, add that in to your commute. That if I take this freeway, I'm going to be stuck in traffic. So I'm going to have to take the street, which going to, may add some time, but I'd rather be moving than sitting in traffic for two or three hours not moving. Because the 15 freeway is a freeway that goes to Utah and California. And imagine there's so much traffic on that freeway and construction and it's an accident and it's shut down. You're just stuck. So um, just keep that in mind when you want to move to Vegas. That the construction out here is never ending. You're always going to be on the street with construction. They're always going to be doing it. And you're always going to be dealing with crazy drivers on the, sh on the road. And you're going to be backed up sometimes for hours at a time. So keep that in mind. Let's go inside and get out of this heat. So we gonna get through this video before it gets dark outside. Okay, so the I believe we're on number three, cause number two was, well, I think we're on number four, cause number two was a hybrid of construction and traffic. So two and three. So we're on number four. Number four is um, rent. Rent out in Vegas have really became astronomical. Yes, it has. Rent in Vegas has really increased since we acquired uh, the Raiders. And that is an actual factual thing right there. So, so about maybe last year or the year before, once the Raiders really became the Raiders, 
Las Vegas Raiders and the stadium was complete and they actually started playing football. The price of living out here became three times what it was. So my apartment that I've been standing for a very long time, rent when I started living there was 750 bucks. Now you can't get into that apartment, two bedroom, less than almost two grand for that same apartment. So price of living definitely increased out here in Las Vegas. The more people move here across the country, it's going to continue to go up. So remember that. Um, so before you move here, so before you move to Vegas, these are my tips to you. Do your research. Come to visit first. See what side of town you want to live on. These, these are the, the places to live, depending on how much money you make. So these are the main suburbs that's here out in Vegas. You have Summerlin, Henderson, South Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, which is Eliante, Centennial Hills, and Craig area. Um, that's where I lived at for a very long time, and my apartment is now $2,000. So depending on how much you make will determine where you live. If you are a lower class or you need a little help before you can live in those type of areas, you may want to live on the east side. The east side is a lesser um, a part of town where you know public transportation abounds, the police is more prevalent, um, homelessness, you know, drugs is in the area, prostitution is in the area, um, but the rent is lesser on this side of town. Actually, the side of town I'm in right now, um, rent is cheaper on this side of town because um, this is the lower class, if you will, of where people live. Um, so, anything east of the strip, because the strip is behind me. So anything east of the strip going Pecos, Nellis, Lamb, anything like that, that is um, the east side, that's the lower class of the, the side of town. And you can find homes and rent and apartments for cheaper than $2,000, maybe $1,200, maybe $1,100, maybe even $1,000, but a lot less than what it would be in the outskirts of the suburbs and the other suburbs surrounding suburbs this may where you need to start until you get yourself on your feet and then you can gladly move out of the east side onto uh, the side of the town that you want to be on so remember that um, rent out here is not cheap but until you can afford to live in those suburbs suburban areas Start on the east side, and there's nothing wrong with living on the east side. So you can start there and always move. Number five. The number five reason to, um, to not move to Vegas. This is the number five reason. Hold on. Let me put my... All right. Number five reason is... Addiction, this is humongous. This is a big, big thing out here. If you have any type of addiction, this is not the place for you to live. It's not. It is not the place for you to live. I will explain. Because Vegas will amplify those, um, Vegas will amplify those, um, those addictions that you have, if it's alcohol, if it's drugs, this is the city of sin for a reason. This city will amplify that because you have it at your fingertips. Casinos are miles and miles down the road. You can go into a casino and gamble and get drunk every single night if you want to. There are strip clubs, strip clubs at every corner. If you want to go into the corner, they're selling drugs outside of inside of the casino. Inside, if you into into bars, the hangout, they're they're selling cocaine, they're selling um, whatever drug that is your, your drug. You can absolutely find it out here. You can absolutely find it. And gambling is another addiction. 
that you have because it's at your fingertips 24 hours. I had a friend who was addicted to gambling. I had a lot of her husband. Many a time she would get paid and go, we'll go straight to the casino. I didn't gamble her money. She'd give me 20 and she'd gamble her whole check. And she was a nurse. You can, you, you can imagine how fat her checks was. Gamble it all and lose it all. It helped to go get a loan to pay for it all. You understand? So it's very, 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 very hard to keep her from um, losing herself. Now she moved away to a, 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 she went to Florida because she had to get away from the machines because that was her addiction. Not only that, sex is an addiction for a lot of people. And so if that's an issue, we have prostitution that's legal out here. You, say, you have hookers walking down the street, just pick a street. Flamingo, Boulder, Tropicana, they're right there. They will be at the 7-Elevens waiting on somebody to pull up. If sex is your addiction, sex is at your fingertips out here, you can go through a brothel. You know what I mean? So, if you have an addiction, this isn't a place to be because you will get caught up in this lifestyle real quick, really quick, and you will lose yourself in the process, and you will lose it all living out here. Vegas will suck you in if you're not strong enough to um, with, you know, not fall into the trap because this is an enticing, it's an enticing city. If you don't have the, um, if you're not strong enough to, to handle it, don't move. Number six reason, again, it's a kind of a hybrid. Sex is everywhere. So if you come in here in relationships, that's kind of tricky. I'm telling you why. It's kind of tricky to come here within a relationship because I would say, this is my own opinion, unless he's an older gentleman and got it out of his system, he's not worried about it anymore, fine. But a younger guy who comes here, who hasn't, you know, lived a Vegas life yet, who's not over it quite yet, there's women everywhere out here. You have, not only you have 24 hour strip clubs, you have 24 hour brothels, it's like several brothels, they have sex houses everywhere, you know, the, the, the most famous sex house is the Green Door, that's the most famous one out here, but there was more, um, there's a lot more sex houses outside of the Green Door that's out here that that's an issue <laughs> prostitution strippers is a major issue porn is shot here porn is shot here on the strip all the time so they have porn awards I went to the porn awards for my birthday every January they have the porn awards out here so if porn is an addiction, if sex working is an addiction, street walkers and hookers and prostitution is an addiction, my suggestion is not to move to Vegas. You have too many options here in this city to come here if that is a problem for you. You have no self-control Vegas is not the place for you so number seven reason to not move to Vegas is dating sucks out here it just does you with a hybrid with the hybrid from the last one is it's just too many options men have too many options I'm going to compare it to another city like Atlanta. The men out there um, usually choose from other black women, you know, because there's a majority black women out there. Out here in Vegas, you have whatever flavor you like. If it's black, white, Latin, Asian, Cambodian, whatever. You can choose whatever you want. Racism is not that prevalent. In this city because it's it's just not for what you don't have to so you have a lot of options you can choose what you want to date and who you want to date 
So if you don't want to date just date black, you don't have to. If you don't want to date just white, you don't have to. So dating's in so because of that, dating sucks. It's hard to hold down a guy. And when you do, you're trying to find a quality guy. And a lot of people who live in Vegas, unfortunately, it's from California. And California comes with a stigma that they like to find women that takes care of them. There are a lot of hobosexuals who like to live with you, live off you. You work and, you know, they drop you off in your car and they stay in your bed all day long. You know, so it's hard to find a quality guy out here who have everything that you want and then some. And the ones are high rollers or not interested in you. They're interested in the street walkers and the strippers. So good luck on finding a quality guy out here in this. I believe we're on number eight. Yes, I believe we're on number eight. The number eight reason to not move to Vegas. This is not a family town. I think you might already know that, but just in case if you don't, I'm here to inform you why this is not a family town. This is a 24 hour playground for adults. There's nothing that you can't do in the city of sin. Do you wanna raise your children here? Something that you have to ask yourself. Yes, we're all raising children here, but we have to be very creative like myself. Here's another tip for you. If you decide to move to Vegas, what are you going to do with your children? Allegedly, in September, they're supposed to be turning down the Circus Circus. That was the biggest indoor amusement park out here. If they turn down, what are we going to do with the kids? Huh? Circuses come around every couple of months, depending on the neighborhood. You know, we can take them to the skate rink if they know how to skate. You know, every holiday they have something, you know, going on like around Christmas, ice skating or whatever. But what exactly are you going to do with your kids? So I had to be creative outside of taking them to every show on the strip. You know, family related, dog, cat shows, comedy shows, children shows. I had to start taking them to California a lot. Are you willing to travel to take them just so they can have some entertainment? That's what I had to do. I took them to every amusement park I could find in Southern California. In Los Angeles, San Diego, <laughs> I, San Francisco, I had to travel to entertain my children. That's something that you will have to do. I also use a website called Families Day Out. Family Days Out with an S. That website helped me for a very long time to find places to take my children because at that time they were very little. So bouncy houses and things like that was a very prevalent place to take them. So Family Days Out is a good website to use to help you decide, you know, what to do with your family. Also, a hidden gem, a hidden gem, something also that can help you is Groupon. Groupon is another website that I just kind of stumbled upon. This not only helped my family, but helped me too. Because after a certain point of time, you don't want to be on a strip anymore. I wanted to find other places that I could go to and do outside of spending money and being on the strip. So I said, I know that there's got to be other places that Vegas offer. On Groupon, there's a ton of stuff that I didn't even know. I found out that we had Lake Las Vegas off of Groupon. I found out that we had a ski resort up north off of Groupon. You know, all of these restaurants, all of these places you can go up to Red Rock and go to a bike tour, you know, moped tour. There's so many things you can do that I did not know that Vegas offered. But Groupon helped me and still is helping me to this day to discover hidden gems that Vegas has. So, yeah, so use those websites, Family Days Out, for your children, Groupon for yourself to help you explore Vegas if this is a place that you decide after watching this video that this is a place that you want to live. So hopefully this um, information is helping you making your decisions along the way. That's number eight. Let's get to number nine. The ninth reason to not move to Vegas. We have, if you're a homebody, I don't suggest you move here. What's the point? Again, Vegas is a party town. Vegas is a fun town. And if you decide to move to a town that's 24 hour party, are you really gonna enjoy yourself? Like me and my sister is two 
different people. She's more of a homebody. She's Virgo. She likes to be at home. She likes to be with her family, around her kids, around his, her kids. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all is wrong with that. So Vegas was too much for her. So she moved from Vegas and moved down south to Georgia. And that's where she's been and she's happy down south. I am a city girl, so I like to party. I like to go to comedy shows. I like to be in the mix. I like to go to club. I like to be around celebrities. I like to go to festivals. I like to do all of that fun stuff. So if you're interested, if, if you are a homebody, I mean, you can be a homebody. There's plenty of homebodies here that lives here. But are they really happy here? Because there's nothing that they can, there's nothing they really enjoy. There's nothing about Vegas that they enjoy if they're a homebody. Nothing. So if you are a homebody, I don't suggest this is the place for you. I just you keep looking and find another place that you can, um, that you probably would be a little bit more happy in. Maybe the South will probably work better for you. I don't know about Vegas, but you never know. Maybe you will love it, but that's my suggestion. If you're a homebody, Vegas isn't the place for you. Not least, the number 10 reason to not move to Vegas. Excuse the car in the background. Not least, the number 10 reason to not move to Vegas. I'm gonna try to be still and get back in my van immediately is this is kind of a, a not a real reason not to move but it's just to kind of alert you when you do come is you know watch out for the scammers that's on the strip it's a lot of them and they're dressed up in costumes okay <laughs> if you don't know you're coming to visit the first time and you just don't know and you think everybody's so entertaining and pretty on the strip and you know it's fun oh my god i see mickey don't fall for it before you get into a picture with them, ask them uh, how much for this photo. They actually got me and I've been living here for a very long time. I was actually taking a picture of myself and they jumped into my picture. I was going to Hell's Kitchen. And then when I took a picture, they're gonna charge me $50 a piece. And you can't say no because then you'll go, then they'll get their bodyguards and shake you down for your money. Avoid all scammers on the strip. Just say no, okay? Just say no, all right? But outside of that, if you're visiting Vegas, have a good time, have fun. We'll be back for 10 reasons you should move to Vegas. But now I'm gonna end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And next time I'm gonna do a sit down video for the 10 reasons you should, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, again, like, comment, share, subscribe. I love you all. Ciao.